verbalizing some of this. Uh, so by that logic, you would have to be relatively local. I don't know uh, the obviously if there's no checkpoint as such going into the twins itself. Would there be one for going into Duvros? Would there be a record of such, like a log? The valiant effort, but you'd ask you'd ask to be sifting through hundreds of individuals that circulate through Duvros from a period over 20 years ago. Not even all such records might have survived after Duvros' reclaiming. True. Whatever it takes. It'd be at that point just finding, using some mystical means to hunt them down. That's what I was about to ask um, Silas. Um, mm -hmm. Does Tertiana know blood magic? Alright, I'm gonna pretend like I didn't hear that again. Stop mm. bringing blood magic. Night. This is a I nice mean, wall. She's on her way, so we could ask. It's a nice fucking wall right here. Proper quality. Fitting for <laughs> Lord of Trans Estate. <laughs> good paint, good paint. Ah, oh, this ain't leaded. Perfect. <laughs> is that asbestos? I could find out. I don't know. I think I've. I'm at my wit's end. I will help any way I can, of course, but um, I have something to speak with Owen about. Uh, so, you, well, if you need me, you know where to find me. Uh, Delvet. Yeah? Despair is a lonely mountain to climb. It's better to not do it alone. And then he sort of take, makes his leave. Uh, Silas, with that, whatever the, I think it was a 23 insight roll from before. Ah, uh, yes, please, tell me to feel better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, it's, uh, it's a bit frustrating at times. Which I guess it really goes to show the degradation of Delvet's morals. <laughs> you went from a Tolus to a Zol. Oh, oh God. <laughs> what a far fall. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a rapper. But, uh, yeah. You guys can ask Tertiana, but you guys can ask that next week! Because oh, it's already 714. It's already going an hour past, and I'm not repeating 12 hour <laughs> shit again. I swear yeah. to God. Kirsty, next week, late start. Yes, question? Yeah, it is, yes. Damn it. But understandable. <laughs> you said it's so, so weird. So, two sessions of party. No, my apologies. Two sessions. Honestly, it probably will be two sessions of party, yeah. Nice. Some chill time. We deserve, it. About we deserve it. We deserve it. Actually, wait. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. no. Actually, actually, wait, wait, you don't deserve it. <laughs> no, no. I, it's because Roll20 will automatically push the next game will be to, like, the next week's thing. So I was like, wait. So I pushed it pa a week past that. So I was like, wait. Was it like vacation time soon? I'm like, no, it's because I automatically push it a week and I push it another week. So it's basically pushing for two weeks. Yeah, sorry. Uh, next week I will miss first half. That's fine. Okie doke. That's fine. Party time. Dead birthday. Party dead birthday. Dead birthday. Um, let's see. Somebody hmm. just put an announcement. Happy so birthday, dead. Week is late. Start, <laughs> spread, shall <laughs> be absent for the first half. Boom. Nice. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. So yeah, well, thank you all for playing. Uh, congratulations, crack open, crack open a cold delvet. Crack it uh, open what? a boy with the cold crack ones. Yeah, <laughs> crack, 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 exactly. Crack open a boy with the cold ones. You got There's your family this... back. Uh, no, if you want to find R for them, oh, be my I guess. But you're I am. I'm okay, making good. <laughs> very very Can good. I pick the dad art. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can <laughs> <some> suggestions. <laughs> I am under no obligation. To choose them. Uh, but I will take suggestions. Um, I will say, I actually, earlier, and I mean way, way earlier, I was making, it's a very small family tree, I was making a family tree that was gonna have tokens on it and send it to you, and then I forgot. I completely yeah. forgot. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I think you brought that tree. up before. 
How crazy. More poor. Uh, I already oh, sent crash please. tokens of Sajar's family. <laughs> yeah, I have them already. <laughs> um, actually, Kirsty, do one I thing for me. all the prepared. family tokens I have. Uh, let's do yeah. a thing for me, Kirsty. Roll me... Do you have Tinkerer's Tools? Yep. Can you roll me that for me, using your intelligence or wisdom, whichever is best? Uh, yeah, let me just check. Uh, intelligence or wisdom. It's gonna be wisdom. I figured. Your family, uh, humans, right? You know? Yeah. I yeah. Know. What about Silas's? Pure base. Hmm? So what about Silas's mm. family? <laughs> 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 uh, so 18, because this would have been back at the uh, the few. Uh, yeah, Anushka is making progress on studying with Miles. It's, again, as he said, it's going to take time. But I will tell you, you, as a player, two things. Well, I guess simply one thing divided into sub twos. Um, if you keep studying, you will get the uh, eventually, in totality, personal caliber, the feature. Mm-hmm. But you only get one at first, and then you'll get the other one later. So, personal caliber increases the die type. Oh, okay. I would say yours is locked to rifles, though. Which I don't I think mean, you yeah, give a shit about. Yeah, yeah but... So. Um, so, yeah. So, the first time... or So, one is that will increase the die type. So, like a D8 to a D10. And then the other is it will increase the number. So, from 2D8 to 3D8. And that will be your pick as to which one you get first. I keep forgetting that uh, Anushka isn't a gunner. Pure yeah. Ranger. Yeah, yeah, so pure ranger, but uh, you know, this would be something that you could have been expanding into gun shit without taking gunner multi class or spending your aspiring stuff on gunner shit. Uh, yeah, personal caliber, and then the you already reload as a bonus section, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so it's really it's personal caliber. caliber thing. That's on our thing. You could try learning from Miles how to reload as a bonus section uh. because he is a fucking speed team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Miles is the equivalent of combining Jaeger with Gunner with Arsenalist. It's a fucking it's it's a fucking show. Gunner the class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But not having to use a spell slot every single time she reloads would be nice. Yeah, and that's that's also something I will say to you. Like, if you look into the rest of the company, with those that are still remaining, or maybe the ones that are gone, um, you might uncover more abilities because your I'm okay if your powers delineate from the company. And I won't explain how that works. I'll never tell. Well, you can find out in game eventually, maybe if you study it. That's but yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, Miles can teach you how to do not blood magic because that's sort of the fun thing, and this is something no one has actually gosh, gone into in any of the campaigns. The Silverbots have fancy equipment, things that sort of don't make sense because they use their blood to power it, and their blood carries a lot of magical capability in it. That's why they're called Silver Bloods. Well, amongst other reasons. So yeah. He could try teaching you some stuff on that. Uh, he technically is a full verse Silver Blood. So I'm not saying he'll initiate you into being a Silver Blood. He doesn't have that authority. But he can at least teach you some stuff about blood magic. Or blood tinkering. Blood capability. Morvir probably would have a good time with Miles. But other problems. Say that be. That bitch is elsewhere. So yeah, we need so... to ask Niles about a couple of things. Del yeah, just... the Yeah, he's a, he's a silver blood, so And also Tertiano about the same yeah. people. Some of the things. I will say Miles about is his... I should I shouldn't say Miles is a silver blood. He was a silver blood. you mentioned it in session. Yeah. Yeah. Just making sure. Yeah, he, he was uh... kicked out to the Keplins. He got transferred technically. But then or one might also call him exiled. <laughs> it's, it's it's their interpretation. Right. Your services are no longer required. So was it like he was normal before, but then once he went through like the procedure of like becoming a silver blood, like the mutation popped up kind of thing? Dude, he made it all the way to a captain. Shit, dude. Hey, yo. He is not a pushover. No. Well, the, the tangle term they say is old blood. Hmm. Oh, which I, which none of you guys would have any insight on, but out of game, yeah. You become a uh, silver blood captain by accepting the old blood. Like the the amount you get for conversion as a normal silver blood is like a percentile amount compared to getting a big dose of the old blood. And then you either make it through with special powers or you know being connected, or you fucking die. Hmm? 
Uh, correct me if my memory is off here, but Chedomir had some interactions with the Silver Blood Snow, or was that mm, somebody else? She had knowledge that they existed because, like, yeah. game respect game kind of thing. Uh, Rose yeah. had more connections with the Silver Blood. Rose, right, 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 right person, yeah. wrong character. I'll give you, I'll give you brownie points on that. You had the right person, yes. Because um, <laughs> yeah, she, the, the she got. Crippled and the twins made a deal with the devil. Devil sold her contract basically to uh, Silverblood, uh, who sent now her remember. to the new continent, basically just to kill off yes. the Scorpion. Yep. But there more you go. than just kill off. Just Walter like, was it? Yeah, it wasn't Walter. Wal it was um. A memory. <laughs> there, was, there, there was a Walter. That was that was yeah the Silverblood. Oh shit! Yeah, he was the archer, and you went out to his silver woods. Mm. <laughs> Fun times. Yeah. Fun times. Yeah, what that's the... an old one. That's an old one hunter. What well, the... technically he died. But... <laughs> Super dead. Weren't the fellows that we interacted with that were silver blood in this campaign also captains? Old blood, correct. They were old blood. Okay. They were all old blood hunters, and you'll note that they were all very, very, very peculiar. Mm. I mean, one of them went up to Anushka. He's like. You want to touch the skull? The the skull with like skull? seven eyes. <laughs> touch the skull. Oh my god, there's no eyes. Eye sockets. Yeah, I think you guys yeah. might have seen them in action. Like like that silver blood hunter used the skull to shoot celestial projectiles out of each eye. That's pretty but, cool. By holding it up like a fucking totem. Yeah, so there's a lot of adaptability to silver bloods in a way. It just you just gotta <laughs> just survive the old blood conversion. There's a notorious incident with that, so maybe don't do that. They don't allow that anymore. What if we took a hundred orphans and gave them all the old blood? <laughs> Surely, by percentage amount, we'll get some successful. Well, hunters. we had a hundred. We only have to worry about feeding three. That was true until a couple of them went AWOL, and then they stopped doing that. Um, uh -oh. and, and also public Would... scrutiny. <laughs> Yeah, so, so a question I have no, is no, not a, if we manage moral and unethical. <laughs> and, but meanwhile, we're making defenders of humanity. A yeah, the silver ones are now I think about are really remarkably similar to the black ones. That's why you gotta love them. Yeah, that's why you gotta love them. Oh, I'm moving stuff back. I need to sit uh, down. My legs are. No, hurting. she heard Logan's last words. Nothing else. Ow, Never mind. Ow, ow, ow. 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 I am now sitting again. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Yeah, we sit in. Yeah, we sit in. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you did, you did. You did hear Logan's last words. Um, so I was gonna fine. say, like, did she hear like the anyone else talk? But it's like, no, she heard that nope. specifically. Never mind. Uh, I need to talk to Rickard. About why it doesn't have a sword, and also her own village things, but also might shove that off to some other time. Yeah, it's a lot of time to talk. Um, I'm gonna make up make a role for Blair right now, hon. We need she to get just... stronger. Actually, wait, no. I guess it would be Annika making the quest. <laughs> she gets advantage from Blair's help. Five. Oh my God. My captains, Captain you're Captain. failing me. Oh, oh. Hmm? My captains, you're failing me. Failing! My, captain, my, captain. my captain's in Christ. Failing, I say. Captain. Failing. Captain. You're scared of Fucking the failure. Fucking failure. All right, uh, I guess I'll make a save Ooh, from Rickard's behalf. Um, laser sights. Oh, he doesn't, wait, he doesn't have any of these saves, really? Huh. So he... Okay. All right. Jesus Christmas. I will say Ricker will be staying around the party. At Annika slash Bora's request. I forgot to add. Ah, probably, I know what the answer is. Uh, what was the name of the... the I don't want to say psychic guy, but the guy talking in our heads the entire time. Eddard? Eddard. Don't write that down. Is he, uh, is he... Is he... Is he... Um... Acted by Sean Bean? No. Sorry. <laughs> I knew someone was going to make that fucking joke, too. 
It's okay, I played I a character named Eddard before. Oh, wait, don't this worry, Crush, I get over. it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm assuming you can't just, like, look into our minds of what happened during that thing, and it's just a communication thing of just talking. You should ask him. Find out. I, I meant to, but we kept getting distracted. We could... You know what we could do? It's mm. a grid button. Mm. The ch the chance of Here, here's a wild card. Or a dangerous wild card. Okay, if as they usually are. Can the Banshee. Ask Tertiana cool. if there's a method of accessing Delvit's oldest memories. You guys could. That is potentiality, yeah. We could potentially see it's... the person who left them off. And if, say, someone with Sandy, right. like Silas were the one to see them, we could hypothetically reach out to them with sending. You have done Probably that in the past. Not, not different. Yeah. You guys have done that in the past, yes. Uh, that being said, this would take a bit of... Uh... We're doing a specific to that in the past. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> bit of a problem. Um... <laughs> I don't. I don't remember what the combo was. Like, obviously, sending was involved in it, but it was like modify. Uh, it wasn't modify thoughts. memories. No, it was detect, detect thoughts. thoughts. Detect yeah, thoughts. He just had a ring of detect thoughts or something. Detect. Kind of. He had an amulet for it. It was his random yeah, magic yeah, item. And a, a, a willing fail auto fail on my path. How did yeah. he do the sending? Did he do the sending, or did he just oh, look he at did. memory? Yeah. So what he did no, was he, he was did. looking at our memories and tried to get a basis of who these people are to give them. Yeah. Right, he did that in Duvros, didn't he? He didn't do that he in, like, did. He did. Dwarf. Okay, I'm misremembering. Uh, okay, I thought I was at the Stemkin Village. With, with my... With Sajar's memories, Sajar deliberately thought of memories that would resonate with Redain and the relationship Redain had with Redain's mom. Because Sajar's relationship with his mother is similar in some regards. So he's he, he banked on their sort of... Mm. brotherly understanding to connect and make sort of like, okay, this should... Enable you okay. to know the person well enough to send. This did not. <laughs> Let me check something. Um. Shit. What? All right. Let me check Ooh. a second thing to confirm or deny that first thing. If someone that does deny the dream, it. wait, that does deny it. Hold on. Redane doesn't have like he has ticked off his medallion of thoughts. I believe he, he gave it to Deet. Deet. He did. Yeah, he, gave it to Deet. he did. So you guys technically will be able to take that. Well, what do you know? What you look yeah, at I that? just. Well, what do you know? The, benef we... the benefits of auditing. Hmm? I'll be right back. Okay. okay. If we know somebody who knows the dream spell, ah. that could be used as well. That's like a fifth level spell in it. It is. Bard, Warlock, and Wizard. Well, I know Silas didn't take it. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I don't believe you guys have anyone else in your company that can do it. And I will say, oh, no. Tershana is going to be a bit more hesitant in doing magic on you guys from now on. I can't uh, imagine why. I can't imagine why. No, it's fine, I promise. It won't happen. What happened with Oriana and Skabal, I was like, oh, I didn't mean to do that at all. I didn't mean to fucking dance this on a homie. <laughs> that's sort of the thing, and that's sort of what, like, no matter how great you are, you can still fuck up. Yeah, she still made it. <laughs> yep. it yeah. It's probably the reminder of, like, oh, hey, you're not a god, by the way. You might be badass, but you still are mortal and make mistakes. Yeah, so she's not going to cast any spells for you guys, just to give you a heads up. Um, and no, Owen doesn't have the dream spell by Quill. I don't even know why he would need me it. What a Kote session. That's a fun I don't know. There you go. I remember... Me and Crash were chatting about uh, our other character, or the previous campaign characters, and apparently Cheddar Bear might actually have insight that could help with this. Downside, she's not going to be here for a period of time that I don't know if she'll even show up, actually. What? Well, I need, I'm not going to bother doing it until you guys are done doing figuring your shit out in the Provincial Machinations chat. Mm. Like, obviously, because I need to know what I'm actually enlisting you guys to do. Mm. Yeah. I think, Fred, you're more or less good. Yeah. Uh... I think I got an insight into what 
Aldrich has been up to this whole time. I think yeah. I was rather colorfully <laughs> labeled. Um, so yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, so let's see. Session title, session title, session title. I don't want to do po toxic positivity, although that'd be really funny. Oh, no, don't no. describe the whole thing, unfortunately. No, Par it does not. How dare you? We the few? <laughs> well, that's a goddamn lie. Look how many people are. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the right. funny, though. We the many. <laughs> mm. No. To we the oh, happy few. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was thinking that. Okay. To us the miserable many. Mm. Misery loves company. No, this I, might be I, a little wordy, but oh, goddamn oh, devil, what the company. fuck is happening? <laughs> what were you saying, Crush? I he like has an that. idea. We the happy few, us the miserable many. I like that, actually. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> because I think that sort of describes a lot of what happened. Mm. Yeah. Right? Like, everyone has, like, yeah. so much shit going. Some people are happy. You guys also look, like, according to Kasai, yeah, you, some of you guys that's are happy, cool. but a lot of Nevers are about to be miserable. <laughs> I like, I, so I like that. Yeah, and I think every, most of everyone's takeaway from the Bellamy situation is, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, nobody's upset that Sus got their family back. Well, I'm a little upset, <laughs> but God <laughs> damn it, he got played like a fiddle. <laughs> Wait, who's a little upset? <laughs> what? No, I don't know where you heard the word upset from. You're crazy. Upset is a facsimile of your So mean. So mean. See, yeah. fucking the the cruel arithmetic of war here. If we look at it, like how much oh. time would we spend? Looking for Silas's family, hypothetically, potentially. Oh, did I give you guys actually give you the time? Uh, no, I don't know. Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> hmm. Four and a half months. Four and a half months. We could have easily spent that amount of time, that amount of time, looking for Silas's family, unsuccessfully, I might add. Hmm. Or they just send someone's finger. I was like, okay, actually, we're, we're more amicable to listen now. Yeah. <laughs> so, in, yeah, in, in a twisted sort of way, we've gained an undetermined amount of time by agreeing to this deal, which could have been a lot more or a lot less than four months. From... Oh, my bad. You know, the day to the 12th. But there's an emotional cost. Ados to Didas, oh, it's... it's Tuesday, my dude. So, in a manner of speaking, we, we may have actually not really given up time, per se. But we've defi definitely taken Let's see. some philosophical hits, some three. moral, some morale mm -hmm. hits. And hey, hopefully over that next four months, which will probably be an actual year in real life, we'll figure out <laughs> what the fuck we're actually trying to do in the north. Okay, I'm gonna make it even simpler. I, I, I think, I like think that. math, I think time mathematics, this makes sense. I'll just put, uh, I should just edit this one. And I also like the narrative. The final day of Winter's Crest. That's the first month of the next year. Fitting. Hmm. So the nice. last day, I believe it's third. It's, if the third one days in January, the third one days in Winter's Crest. Uh, so yeah, after yeah, so after once it hits the month of ebbing, all bets are off. Ebbing. Okay. Fun. So you guys have until. February 1st, equivocally. Fun times. I'm trying to see um, how the fuck oh. works on Logan's death. Oh. I have a question, Crash. The pursuant uh, aspirant things. Pursuant Reverie, wanted... correct? Thank you. Pursuant Reverie. Uh, you mentioned for Sajari if I wanted to pursue some healing capabilities that the, the source would be uh, different from Shimandrex. It could be, yes. It could be. It Yeah, so... 
Um, I guess I'll try to do like a TEDx on it now. Uh, if you guys don't remember, that's fine. I'm a, I'm, it might, it might, some details in my 